the last video we had discussed about introduction to cognitive psychology in this video we are going to discuss about research methods in cognitive psychology so let us start the video and understand what are the various research methods in cognitive psychology first of all we'll understand the goals of research then we'll discuss distinctive research methods used in cognitive psychology to better understand the specific methods used by cognitive psychologist one must grasp the goals of research in cognitive psychology so in this slide we'll briefly discuss about those goals which include data gathering data analysis theory development hypothesis formulation hypothesis testing and application to settings outside the research environment however most cognitive psychologists want to understand more than cognition they also seek to understand the how and the why of thinking that is researchers seek ways to explain cognition as well as describe it to move beyond descriptions cognitive psychologists must leap from what is observed directly to what can be inferred regarding observations cognitive psychologists use various methods to explore how human think so in this slide let us discuss various research methods used by cognitive psychologists these methods include laboratory or other controlled environments psychobiological research self reports case studies naturalistic observation and computer simulations and artificial intelligence we will discuss these methods one by one in detail so let us start with method 1 that is laboratory or other controlled experiments in controlled experimental designs an experimenter conducts research typically in a laboratory setting the experimenter controls as many aspects of the experimental situation as possible so there are basically two kinds of variables in any given experiments first is independent variables and second is dependent variables and the irrelevant variables are held constant and these are called control variables in implementing information processing experimental method the experimenter must use a representative and random sample of population of interest the experimenter must also exert rigorous control over the experimental conditions and if those requisites for the experimental uh, methods are fulfilled the experimenter may be able to infer probable causality this influence is of the effect of the independent variable that is the treatment on the dependent variable that is the outcome for the given population next method is psychobiological research through psychobiological research investigators study the relationship between cognitive performance and cerebral events and situations the various specific techniques used in the psychobiological research generally fall into three categories the first category is techniques for studying an individual's brain post mortem relating the individual's cognitive function prior to death to observable features of the brain the second category is techniques for studying images showing structures of or activities in the brain of an individual who is known to have particular cognitive deficit the third is techniques for obtaining information about cerebral processes during the normal performance of a cognitive activity for example by using brain imaging techniques next research method used by cognitive psychologist includes self reports case studies and naturalistic observation individual experiments and uh, psychobiological studies often focus on precise specification of discrete aspects of cognition across individuals so to obtain richly textured information about how particular individuals think in a broad range of context researchers may use self reports that is an individuals own account of cognitive process they may use case studies in which in depth studies of individuals are done they may further use naturalistic observations which is detailed study of cognitive performance in everyday situation and no laboratory context experimental research is most useful for testing hypotheses next method is computer simulations and artificial intelligence as we all know digital computers played a fundamental role in the emergence of the study of cognitive psychology so one kind of influence is indirect 
through models of human cognition based on models of how computers process information and another kind is direct that is through computer simulation and artificial intelligence in computer simulations researchers program computers to imitate a given human function or process some researchers even have attempted to create computer models of the entire cognitive architecture of the human mind and uh, their models have simulated heated discussions regarding how the human mind may function as a whole but sometimes the distinction between simulation and artificial intelligence is blurred hence it is also possible to combine the two approaches that is computer simulations and artificial intelligence so through this video we have discussed the goals of research and various research methods used by clinical psychologists see you in the next video till then bye bye take care Thank mm-hmm. you.